Hey everybody, Tim from Tim's Computer Repair here, and today we're going to be disabling Microsoft's data collection from Windows 10, as well as getting rid of those annoying pop-ups that are built into the operating system. Alright, so let's get started. Go ahead and click on Start, and click Settings. You should see the Settings window that has several items in it. From here, click on Privacy. In the left pane, scroll all the way down to Feedback and Diagnostics. Now you should see the two configurable items in the right pane. The top one, Windows should ask for my feedback, is what allows the flyout pop-ups you may see from time to time. I personally never want to see these pop-ups, so I choose never. If you do want to provide Microsoft with your feedback, here's where you can choose the frequency at which they appear. The next item, the most important one, is send your device data to Microsoft. Now, there is no way to fully disable this, but in my opinion, you don't totally want to. However, I do feel that I should only have to send them the information that caused the crash and how to fix it. So, if you click on the drop down box, you'll see three options. The first option, basic, is the one I would recommend. The basic information only includes the application that crashed, the error code, and other non-identifiable information that can help trace down the crash and help to develop updates meant to fix the crash, if possible. If you do want to help Microsoft develop better software, I would even go as far as to say choose the enhanced option. This option sends everything that basic sends, but also sends statistics on your usage such as which apps you use, how long you typically use them, and basic memory states, without the identifiable information, as per their website. The third option, the one that's caused such controversy, is the full and the recommended one. The reason this is so controversial is because not only is it selected by default, but it also sends a lot more information than just the basic and enhanced. This option also sends system files and or memory snapshots, which can be used to entirely trace down the issue. However, it may include information you personally don't want sent over the internet. Depending on what application you had running at the time of the crash, it could inf include information such as your banking details, personal and identifiable information, social security numbers, account logins and passwords, and much more. In any case, once you choose the setting you want for both options, simply close the window and your settings are changed. And that's it. You're all done. So that's also it for this video. If you liked this video, or even if you didn't, feel free to subscribe or let me know. Uh, thanks. Hey, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope you found it helpful. Feel free to check out any of my other videos, or if you need more information on me or my business, come visit me at SheldonComputerRepair.com. You can also find me on Facebook at Facebook.com slash SheldonComputerRepair, Twitter at SheldonWACR. Uh, other than that, if you have any other questions or concerns or think I can help you out anymore, feel free to shoot me an email at Tim at SheldonComputerRepair.com. Thanks again and have a great day.